Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we had a great start to season uh, 36. We're gonna get you on the right path. Everything that you guys need to know. This is going to be the final mega season this season, guys. So it's been uh, fun. It, it's been a lot of uh, a lot of playing, but I uh, I definitely have enjoyed changing up the uh, the the uh, the season lengths and stuff. We also have uh, we have more free gifts in the shop. We've got. Uh, one day of instant training on for 200 gems. If you guys are in the shop and uh, buying stuff, I appreciate it if you throw in that code chicken. And what else? We have the boom pass as well. Make sure you guys are completing those missions. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well because we will be um, posting videos each and every day of the season as things progress and as things change. So as soon as we, we got this base built up, guys, we went on a huge run. And just absolutely crushed. It got up to rank 20. I don't know where we're at um, globally, but we're looking pretty all right. We might have a diamond push. If we can get diamond today, that would be great. The thing with these mega seasons is um, you really got to push like early on. It, it becomes very tough if you're you know constantly waiting on tech. Um, and this season, we have even more tech for the chest. We have 50 keys in a golden chest. In the diamond one, we have 55 keys, so lots of keys to go around. Now let's talk about how to get started. So right out of the gates, um, don't worry about uh, too much stuff in in three engines, before three engines. So what I did was I got the defenses, and that allowed us to get enough tech level to move up to the next engine room. The, the shock mines are cheap, flamethrowers are cheap. Um, <clears throat> skip med kits because we're using heavy chopper, rock chopper, don't really need them for right now. Uh, skip sniper towers because we don't really, there's better stuff, uh, for right now. And then we can skip this little, first little rabbit hole here, this, uh, four quadrant thing. Um, nothing really good in there that we need, so we could just keep on moving forward. Heavies are going to be your first stop for the troops. Uh, heavies and rocket choppers are probably what most of you going to be using right out of the gate. Um, this troop damage is very helpful. We have to get brick in order to move um, forwards to four. Um, I find I'm using Everspark more than brick because Everspark's pretty helpful with her passive critter ability. Um, boom cannons, definitely needed. Lots of heavy choppers out there already. Heavy choppers and rocket choppers being the dominant meta. We want some boom cannons to help deal with those. This is just a multi-node. Um, so yeah, that was three. So then we can jump right into four. And... With the amount of keys and tokens that we have, building health is, is obviously we have to get it, so max that out. Rocket launchers. I think it's worth getting these and maxing them out because we have so many keys and tokens to start. I started the season with like 350 keys and I think 15 million tokens. So, I mean, go ahead and spend them. Um, yeah, go ahead and spend them. We've got tanks that we can skip. And then staying on this middle path. I've seen some people run the grappler, but again, most people are using... Uh, exclusively flying troops so the doom cannon um, is definitely going to be the better bet there um, then as we move forward that's when we get rocket choppers so even if you you know are starting an iron or something this season you should be able to get rocket choppers fairly quickly um, and then I went DBD and then straight into five now again with these mega seasons it seems to be that skipping or getting to the next engine has been way better. So right now, 6 ER is the sweet spot. That's where you want to try to get to. Um, so then as we go up, we go through <clears throat> we go through Spark. We do grab this troop damage. It was only 26 keys, so that's worth picking up. Um, then we grab the, the we grab the Simo over there. I don't know if the Simo is better than the Boom Cannon. It does help to kill heavies. So, yeah. Then we have Bullet down here. Bullet would be helpful. But for 42 keys, we're getting along fine with Everspark for right now. Um, and then I think we're going to grab this Proto next. But we'll wait and see. So then this is going to be ideally your first stops to try to get to Heavy Choppers. Now, I didn't even have enough stuff to get Heavy Choppers right away. I had to collect chests first. So just keep that in mind because without them, all I was doing was losing. Because I didn't have defense and I didn't have offense. Um, once we got them, then things started to, to turn around for us. But... It's not easy going. Now, yes, we do have Seekers down on this path as well. The problem is with Seekers this season is there's no troop health. 
no troop health at all, right? So they're going to be even harder to use. And um, I'm going to show this guy. He actually had a pretty good hit. He almost cleared me um, just with Seekers and Bullet. But, you know, not an easy not an easy strategy. It's not like last season where Seekers were a huge push point for a long time. Um, yeah. It, it, you know, obviously Seekers are going to work. They're going to be good. Um, but I'm just showing you that they're not super easy to use. I think he misclicked his artillery there or something too, which didn't help, but anyways, I digress. So that's the lowdown on the Seekers to get us started off, and um, yeah. So I think what we want to do next really is go to seven and get the troop health. I think that's going to be huge. Um, I also want to get that prototype, and yeah, there's a few stops we got to make, but um, it's crazy. I mean, in a couple of days, we'll be almost finished this tech tree, so... Um, yeah, it's going to be a wild season to start off with. Um, and yeah, so next up, let's go over. This is the base that I've been using. It's been really, really strong. A lot of guys are using the same kind of clustered setup. There's not a whole lot of difference between uh, most of them. Let's see if I can show you guys. This was a lot of guys using that spread base that went seeker. Let's see, let's see. This was probably the hardest one that I've gone against. Um, with the two doom cannons that, that made things tough, but I'll show you how we're uh, how we're hitting these. So not really a whole lot to it um, I find just on the landing throw your shocks down and Try to hit as many boom cannons and doom cannons with them as you can um, Because otherwise again with no troop health Especially right out of the gates those heavy choppers are going to be uh, Popping they're gonna be getting they're gonna be getting killed really really quickly really easily So make sure that you're shocking the heavy hitting stuff um, you know, I, I'm using Spark uh, with uh, their remote hack with Spark, and that seems to help a little bit. Um, it, the idea is you want to just kind of spam it, and um, you know, if you don't have shock bombs, for the longest time I was just running Spark with hack, and I didn't have any um, shock bombs, didn't have any flares. Um, so make sure you do prioritize getting flares if you are going to go straight to heavy choppers pretty soon after, because. It's gonna be tough to uh, to compete without them. Um, and you see here, I think I do fizzle, but he just fizzled harder. So um, we got all the same stats. It looks like 100 across the board, and then uh, the extra GBE. So yeah, yep, that's the idea for the attack guys. Pretty much is just try to survive, try to clear as many engines on that clustered base as possible. If you are lucky and you do match up with the spread base, then just take your time, go around, um, you know, and uh, work your way in from the outside. So. So yeah, that's basically it. That's your kind of starting guide for, for the season, guys. Um, any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Let me know where you guys are all starting out. So it gives me a good idea of what tips and stuff to go over for everybody. Um, but yeah, other than that, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up uh, for today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. Catch you next one, guys. Check it out. Back, back.